obviously I was lying. Uh, what's going on? They're just gonna start <laughs> shit just like that. Phone. My phone. Just like that. I'm missing a phone. Yeah, Shout out to Al Maxi. Come through on the screen and give me the phone. phone. Yeah, think um, the come phone. around the uh, come around the other side, bro. I'm about to breeze. Oh no, he's about to breeze like Jody. Uh, I am. Go ahead and jump in the screen. Photo bomb. Uh, 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 you gotta. Uh, okay, now I'll give you one of these. Beep. That's tough. Okay. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. This guy. This, this guy. guy. I love you, Homie. Too, what? What's up with yeah, you? Nice How y'all that's doing? Sure. Sure yeah. will. Maxwell bomb. Phew. Zing. Stay green. Yeah. All right, bro. <laughs> What's up with you? Oh, <sighs> yeah. I just been working, working, and working, and working. Yes. I'm always working, you know. Okay. Um, right now we're working on the EP scheduled for release in the spring. Um, first thing we got a nice little leak out for Ambitious Woman. Uh, got a shout out to the Martian. Dude is a beast, a beast. Um, and real excited to get this stuff out. Um, it, you know, it's interesting because uh, until recently, most people didn't even know that I sang. I've been modeling for a long time. Most people know me as a model. Um, some people know me as an actress. Nothing dirty. Nothing dirty. <laughs> Ain't nobody got budgets for that. <laughs> um, you, so, you know, some people know me as a model. Some people know me as an actress. You might have seen me in your favorite club, you know, yes. representing Hennessy. Yeah. Um, so I've done a lot of things. Um, and it wasn't until recently that I really just started getting on this music thing hard. So, um, to be quite honest with you, a lot of people don't know nearly as much about me as they think and that they know about me. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, there's a lot to know. I can't just give it all away right now. You're going to have to get the EP uh, dropping this spring. Yeah. <laughs> you know, most anybody that knows me knows that I, you know, I keep it real. I'm yes. all the way real. I'm all about having fun, you know, good energy. I'm positive, you know, but... I got some demons, too, and we're going to talk about those, too. Demons! Oh, Lord Jesus. Shout out to the angels. <laughs> yes. Now, um, it's music, it's modeling, it's acting. You know, uh, what what type of arts do you look for, um, you know, just to go ahead and relax yourself? You know, I don't know. Do you, you know, run in the, uh, uh, out in the field? You know, do you take long walks? Do you go in and, you know, shoot the bone arrow? You know, what, uh? I'm a workaholic. Uh, I'm a real workaholic. I'm not one of those people that's like, I'm a workaholic and that makes me cool. No, I'm a workaholic and it ruins my life. <laughs> right? Like, I can't keep a man because I work too hard. Like, I don't do anything fun because I work too hard. You ain't seen me in the club because I work too hard. Like, I'm just always working. Um, I can't keep a man because I work too hard. <laughs> We're going to write that down somewhere. But, um, <laughs> we'll get there we'll get there <laughs> um so yeah i mean it, it's a lot to me i'm not i don't think i'm something that's like you can really easily define uh i come from something and most people have no idea what you know what i come from they you everybody has preconceived notions you see something and you think you know all about it because it fits into some kind of like Shit. cookie cutter you have in your mind right um, well, I'm going to surprise you because, like, y'all don't know where I come from. Unless right. you know me for real. And right. if you know me for real, then you know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think I bring a lot to the table and I have a lot to offer uh, because, you know, I come from that, you know, real dark past. But I've managed to turn that around and make mm-hmm. it something that's light and something positive and something that's fun. And, and not really forget where I came from at the Indeed. same time. Indeed. What, uh, what made you just go full force with the music at this point? This is the craziest story. This is a true story. I'm not bullshitting none of this. Like All, all the other shit was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you play it, though. I be playing it too much. I know. Uh-huh. So the truth of this is, is like two years ago, uh, I had a real close friend, Cage Drake. A lot of people out here would know Cra- rest, Cage. Rest in peace, Cage. Rest in peace. Um, me and Cage spent a lot of time together, and Cage and I, we was just friends, but um, we spent a lot of time together, especially after I had left my husband. Raph, you're trying to be a smart ass right now, and this is the serious shit. We talking about the serious shit right now. Shout out to the TI. <laughs> um, oh, so he's dancing. He is dancing. dancing. Mm-hmm. You distracted me. You gonna have to cut this part out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we don't do that. Yeah. Um. 
so Cage and I, we were real, we've always been real good friends, um, especially in the time that I had left my husband. So Cage was, you know, I couldn't fix my window. Cage fixed it because I don't know how to do stuff like that, right? Like, and I'm never going to know because I don't have to. <laughs> That'll, like, mess up my nails or worse. You never know what could happen. It could be an emergency. <laughs> um, you know, and that was, like, my dude. And he would come over and help me with things, and I would sing. And, and he said, oh, I don't do flats. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do flats. I don't change my own light bulbs. Shout out to Sabir who changed my light bulb about two weeks ago. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. Okay. Um, okay. So back to Cage. Cage, you, he's laughing right now because he always was like, you so damn silly. Um, so when Cage and I would be doing things around the house, you know, I'd start singing and he would say, you know, I, I love your voice. And I was like, Cage, you're doing the most right now. You know, he's like, no, I love it. And Cage, if anybody that knows Cage knows that Cage did music. Um, shout out to Thugsman. Shout out to Thuggy. Um, who did a lot of his music. Thugsman, I'm trying to get a hold of you right now, actually. So you need to link up with me. Um, and he said, well, let's, we got to get you on a track. We got to get you on a track. I was like, I don't know. Uh, you know, and he was like, no, you got to do it. Like, just do it. And I was like, all right, well, like, set it up and I'll do it. So I had a photo shoot like a week later out in Syracuse, and I needed a fitted cap. And, of course, the only I'm like, Gage, I know you got a black fitted. Like, let me get the black fitted. And he was like, you got to bring it back. Like, as soon as you're done with this shoot. I'm like, all right, all right, all right, all right. right. So I go over, grab the fitted. I stole his basketball, too. <laughs> I did. I stole the basketball off the porch. Cage, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know that photo shoot that I'm talking about. Um. And, you know, I gave him a hug and a kiss, told him I loved him, and off I went to Syracuse for this photo shoot. And um, I got home late that night, so I didn't bring him his stuff back that night. And the next day I got a call that he had passed. And that shit, like, kind of messed me up a little bit. You know, it kind of messed me up. Cage was, like, down for me in the time, you know, that I had left an abusive relationship and, you know, didn't know how to change the light bulbs and the toilet was running. And, you know, I don't know what to do because I don't do these things. Um, so that had me messed up for a minute and then I just I didn't know how I was going to do it but I just like promised like I'm going to do this at some point you know God willing I'm going to figure out a way to do this um, and on his birthday the year after he passed I made a video singing his favorite gospel song and I posted it on Facebook and I didn't think nothing of it mm -hmm. nothing of it I know I was talking junk about Facebook being people's paychecks earlier but I'm saying this is how it all started <laughs> And a few people saw the video. It was just an acapella video. It's a gospel video. It's still up there. You can still watch it. Okay. And it says, to Cage, the man who always inspired me to sing my heart out. Mm -hmm. um, and that video made it to a few artists. And the artist said, you've got something that like I like. You know, I want to get you in the studio. So I started recording again. Because um, I hadn't done it in years. I had sang as a kid. I sang all through high school. I did weddings. Like I did hooks when I was living in Elmira. Uh, shout out to Chirp. Chirp's doing his thing right now. Come on. Um, so I did, you know, I did a lot of stuff there, but I hadn't really touched it in a while. So I was, yeah, like, let me get back in the studio. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which was, you know, interesting because you don't just get in there and just make it happen. Like, it takes some work. And if you ain't been in the studio for a little bit, you know, you got to feel that out. You're a little rusty. Right. Um, so we did that for a little while. You okay. know, definitely big shout out to LS, Sada Rochester. Um, Jay Passamani. Shout out to Rochester. Yeah. My mic is finally on. Um, I was just talking for six minutes without my mic on. <laughs> I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus, but um, yeah, now my mic is finally on. I didn't do it. No, you didn't do it. Um, Hunter Cray Cream was another person that got me in the studio, um, and they just started giving me opportunities, you know, and they were working with me, and Jay was teaching me a lot, and LS was teaching me a lot, and they was encouraging me to really open up and really go hard and... You know, like, LS really believed in me from right, day right, one. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so we were working together. I was enjoying it. And then uh, Mike Prince was looking for a background singer. And I just said, hey, you know, Shout I'd out be to interested bro. in doing it. Shout out to Mike Prince. Dropping panties by the second. He's probably got about eight pairs of panties stayed around him right now, wherever he's at. That's my brother. <laughs> and I don't know nothing about nothing. That's my brother. It's a wonderful artist. Like, shout out to Mike Prince. Great mm -hmm. artist. If you haven't heard his music, you've got to listen. Dope. Make sure you check him out. Yep. Um, so Mike was like, I thought he was a model. 
Like, man, I'm in this restrictive ass box. Oh, I can Ray, only do one thing. Let me out of the box. I hate the box. I hate the damn box. Don't put me in the box. Um, so Don't put me in the box. I hate it. Oh, that. You so nasty. Shout out to Good Box <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> oh, man. Good Box does a body good. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Um. <laughs> So Mike mm-hmm. said, I never heard you sing. Send me something. So I sent him something, and he was like, yes. Um, me and Mike worked together for like six weeks before his show, uh, which we had November 29th. The Bohemian Experience was yes. another really amazing artist. Shout Go out Gev. to Go Gav. Crazy so artist. Easy. So easy. Crazy artist. That was a dope show. Um, it was a dope show, and I was around so much other talent. So mm-hmm. to be able to be around these people and start talking to them, um, and then also after the show, they showed so much love and so much support. They did. Uh, they really did, and they still do. So easy. He was just sending me questions to talk about tonight on the show, you know. Shout out to Virgos he everywhere. He talks to me about Virgos. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he talks to me about lyrical content. So they've all just really, like, come around me, and, and they've been supporting me and mm-hmm. teaching me a lot of things. Shout out to Easy. I love Easy. Yeah, Easy the man. Hope um, Cleveland stand out. So I did this show with Mike. Got a lot of love, you know a lot of new friends it was a great experience and i just was like hooked because you know the part in the show where i opened up mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i was like oh i was feeling myself to like the 10th power right <laughs> like, i think i uh i text you and you didn't even have your phone with yeah you. of course not like right? <laughs> i was just in the zone right uh-huh. like i was like oh i was loving it and it felt so good i couldn't wait to do it again like right. i could not wait to do it again but i had no idea what i was gonna do right What's the next step, right? So I just schooled out, whatever, you know, started writing. I got a notebook. I just started writing. It's a pink zebra print notebook. I am not bullshitting. Marv thought I was bullshitting until he saw it. Zebra print, leopard print, cheetah print, any type of print. I am such a girl. I just want you to know I'm I'm judging. Any type of print, I'm judging. It's super cute. Mm. Yeah. Whatever. Uh-huh. So I just started writing and I prayed about it. You know, I thought about it a lot. And uh, I one day randomly, you know, I was reached out out to by um, the Martian. He's a producer out here in Buffalo. Um, he's done a lot of good work. Um, he's really making moves out here and he really liked my sound. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, we talked a little bit, tried to figure out where each other's head was at because, you know, I'm about my business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I am about my money. That's it. Indeed. Like, you don't be late. You don't waste my time. If you're not professional, I don't work with you. Like, business includes money, so I Always don't do anything me out for, for being free. Late. I, I only do. be like two minutes late. Man. <laughs> it only be like Always two late. minutes late, man. It only be like two minutes. Oh, I am so about my business, right? <laughs> no doubt. So, no you doubt. know, me and uh, Marv, we talked for weeks before we ever even met. He invited me to the studio. Marshan. Um, we got in the studio, and he just started, he challenges me in a very friendly way so I don't ever take offense to it but he challenges me forces me to think outside the box and he forces me to um, he calls it he makes me get in my feelings mm-hmm. <laughs> and you know I am not that kind of girl we are not watching you know no damn chick flicks right. and no don't do all that I don't want to talk about our feelings for mm-hmm. like, Listen, you know that's not me. That's not me, though. But you're gonna go home and watch the Notebook. Fuck, the no- I've never even seen it. Okay. I've never <laughs> seen the Notebook. Yes. You know what I do like? Three hundred. That is my shit. Well, that's certainly not a chick flick. <laughs> I could watch three hundred a hundred and fifty times, especially that part. Y'all know what part I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. It's the it's the mailman there in front of the hole, and the king's like, "Oh, I want to kill this dude," mm-hmm. and he looks back at the wife, this and the wife spider. says. That digger. <laughs> Yo, I was like, what? <laughs> that is a badass chip right Could there. Could you be a spider queen? Oh, please. You can survive that then? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm Sicilian, right? So indeed. Indeed. Those are my people. Yeah, I mean, those are actually historically my people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's how we roll. Raph, don't be back there talking no junk right now. Raph always talking Shout out to the T.I. guy. The T.I. guy. Now listen to this. Um, Sicilian, I got to ask. Okay. What's in the kitchen? What's on the stove? Mm. 
They all, everybody, I never, ever, ever ran into a, a, a woman of any type of Italian descent that swears she's not the greatest in the kitchen. So go ahead and let me hear it. Here's the thing about Italians and mm -hmm. Mediterranean. And they, they all start like this, too. <laughs> we are a very passionate people. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Everything we do, we're passionate about. If I love you, I love you passionately. And if I hate you, I couldn't hate you more passionately. Right, I got you. <laughs> you know, um, if I'm cooking, cooking it to me is a very passionate thing. I get my music, I get my wine, and I have a process. My children know they are not allowed in the kitchen when I'm cooking. No one is allowed in my right, kitchen. Right, right. Stay out of my space. I have a swag in my kitchen. Mm -hmm. I have a kitchen swag. See? I get in there, you know, reach over to my Kitchen swag. Tap, tap, tap. A little bit of sugar. <laughs> March my behind over to the pantry. I love cooking so much. And mm -hmm. shout out to all my exes. You know that new bitch can't cook like I do. <laughs> I had nothing to do with this. I make the meanest lasagna. Mm -hmm. Like my ex, I'm not going to say your name. I'm not gonna say your name. Yeah, I got one some lasagna Call me right a week now. Ago for a lasagna. <laughs> Call me a week ago for a lasagna. We've been broke up for like five months. Like, Let me get some of that. Lasagna. She not gonna say your name, but you know who you <laughs> I'm not are. Not gonna say your name, but you know. Because you know who you, you called last week for lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> I make a crazy lasagna. I make. I was blessed enough um, to have the opportunity to learn how to cook with um, my beautiful brown sisters from the South. Mm -hmm. um, so I had some big mamas that taught me how to make an amazing mac and cheese. I can make greens. I can make black eyed peas. Can you make peach cobbler? I can make a peach cobbler. See, I need some peach cobbler. There is really nothing I can't make. I'm always cooking, you know, because I take pictures of my food because mm -hmm. I'm a foodie. <laughs> and I um, post Man, if your food pictures is nasty, man, stop, stop taking them shit. Them At least let's do that for 2014. Okay. I'm not even about that New Year shit, but Tuna if your food pictures does is... not belong <sighs> on social networks. Man, box like... macaroni and cheese, <laughs> all that shit, man. I don't care, but listen. Keep your peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> talking about some dinner for the bay. That shit look like school lunch. Bay don't want that shit. <laughs> Let me tell you. That's why you can't keep a man. Hey, Bay don't want that school lunch. Bay dropped out behind school lunch. Come on, man. Except for the Italian dunkers. Those were the shit. <laughs> Come on. If you had Italian dunkers, you mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about. See? Um, what were we even talking about? I don't know. The food. But what are we... Uh... Oh, I be cooking, though. Yes. I do. I cook. Me and my mom... Um, Shout out to my mom. I love that woman. She is... That's another thing the Italian people do. She's the craziest woman I've ever met. They always met. shout out Hold their on. mother and their grandmother. Second only to my grandmother. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> my grandmother is the craziest woman I've ever yeah. met. I love you, Nana. My mother is batshit crazy in a very good way. I love mm -hmm. the way that you're batshit crazy. And, you know, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. Just say. Come on. <laughs> shout out to batshit everywhere uh, that has a brain. <laughs> So me and my mom, every year, my favorite Christmas tradition, we spend a whole day um, baking cookies. Mm -hmm. And this year, it actually extended from one day to three. We had 27 hours in baking <laughs> cookies because I took pictures and I posted them on the Instagram. Yes. Um, everything is homemade. All y'all going to the little refrigerator section and getting them Pillsbury pop-up cookies that you just pull apart and stick on the tray and shove them in the oven. Wow. You need to stop. Those were good. Well, actually, no, actually, I was, I was about to say they were good for home ec, but we didn't even, we I had to make cookies what? from scratch in home ec. Make your man a good home-cooked meal. You got to really put your foot in it, though, mm -hmm. and you're going to see a look on his face like you ain't never seen before. All y'all ladies out there, make him a good home-cooked meal tonight. Well, I don't, um, I don't cook with my feet, you know. I do make some, I do make <laughs> great meals, It's an expression though. if you're from the South, you know what I'm talking <laughs> about. You got to put your foot in it. I know what you're talking about. You know what you're talking so that's, about. you know, the cooking. The cooking is, whew. Okay. Now, um, aside from music, aside from the modeling, what do we uh, what do we have going on? And uh, you know, what do you still want to venture in that uh, that you haven't so far? I've been so blessed, so blessed, mm -hmm. and you know, I spend it every day. That's like part of my morning routine is just you know thanking God for everything that He's blessed me with. Mm -hmm. You know, I thank Him for what He did. I thank Him for what He's doing. I thank Him for what He's about to do. Um, me and God, we like this. I make some bad decisions still, but we talk mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about it. Come on. <laughs> talk about 
Um, so I've been really blessed to have a lot of opportunities. Um, I, you know, grew up and got my, you know, my street diploma. So that Shout honestly, out to the streets. <laughs> still serves me some good to this day. Mm -hmm. uh, I was blessed enough to get a four year degree. So I got that, you know, that American education. Yes. Um, graduated Fuck from America. my class. Just saying. Shout out to America too. But a little whatever. bit of magna cum laude. Just saying. Come on. Um, you know, I was blessed enough. Shout out to, to everybody with them degrees. A, a great career. I have a great career in advertising. So, mm -hmm. girl, you know, I'm a little bit of a business guru. What can I say? Yes. Um, That's what's needed. I've been really blessed to, you know, be afforded the opportunity in the modeling career, which I love. Mm -hmm. um, recently, I was given an opportunity to move more into fitness, which is something I'm really passionate about. Just being healthy and taking care of yourself. Nothing is a better reflection of loving yourself than taking care of yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, you mm -hmm. know, I can see people out there, you know, you not taking care of yourself. You can't love yourself that much. <laughs> you Fresh know, clothes with dirty fingernails and dirty drawers. <laughs> yeah, stop. You doing the most. Mm -hmm. Um be like that so i've had that opportunity shout out know. to dirty draws all across the world <laughs> that's the cat's name shout out to itchy. <laughs> may or may not have something to do with rap sex girl mm. <laughs> shout out to the ti guy wolvesden.com too man the wolvesden.com wolvesden.com something about wolvesden but we're not even talking about that what are you reading yes wolvesden.com are you reading what are you reading I'm always reading. Yes. Um, I'm a lifelong learner. I'm a nerd. Uh, all of my exes would tell you I want to have entirely too many conversations about philosophical nothingness. Mm -hmm. Shit that's mm -hmm. not even real. Yes. <laughs> I'm really into um, metapsychology. Mm -hmm. I'm into the study of energies. I'm almost always studying. I thought you were about to say you're into meta world peace. Shout out to Ron Artest. <laughs> Uh, I'm a huge nerd, so I love... Uh, Shout I out love to nerds! I, I do. I study physics. Um, you know, I, I was blessed enough to get the book, The Secret, in my hand. I think it was like three years Shout ago. Shout out to The Secret. Um, March 15, 2007 for me. Yeah, see, you know. If you read The Secret, <laughs> you know you'd change your life with that book. Um, so I got introduced to those concepts, and since then I really just haven't stopped. Most recently I read Go For No. Yes. Um, a great book that just teaches you to get out of your own way, stop being afraid of things. How something. to get what you want and want what you have. Oh, yes. That's an incredible book. There's a way to get everything you want. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, like, uh, learning those things is going to get you further ahead in life. Mm -hmm. um, I don't watch TV. Fuck Nothing. TV. Hold on. Time out. There is one exception to that. My Miami Heat. My Miami Heat. Just like, lost I to the Knicks. Not, I'm not a Knicks fan. I don't even care. Mm -hmm. I don't even care because whoever you are, you don't have to like the Heat, mm -hmm. but you know they got skills for days. And that mm -hmm. shit irks you. That's why you're making that face right now. <laughs> so salty. Shout out to my Kings. Shout out to Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh <sighs> never gets no love. Chris Bosh. Chris yeah. Bosh never even gave Chris Bosh a shout out. <laughs> so, man. <laughs> Goodness. Um, so I'm always studying something. Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. a self proclaimed conspiracy theorist. <laughs> yes. So I'm always looking at What's politics your biggest conspiracy? And economics. Don't say the Illuminati. If you're gonna say the Illuminati, then oh, just the Illuminati is like a joke. That's what the people who think they're yeah, intellects. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard of yeah. the Illuminati? <laughs> like bitch, yeah. you know what the Federal yeah. Reserve is? Because <laughs> I I know everything. I've been researching and <laughs> like bullshit. Did man. you see the new Jay Z video? Yeah. Pretty sure there was some triangle. I'm about to say he had a triangle in his shirt. <laughs> Illuminati, that's it. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. What is my biggest conspiracy theory? I think the one that I've been stuck on for the longest is just um, the Federal Reserve and what mm -hmm. and what I believe. See now you go. And how it's not federal you go, at all. Catch me up in we the NDAA. They go indefinitely Listen, detain my ass. We were just talking about this. Um, and what's it? In Coleman's uh, interview earlier, we're not even yeah, gonna right. get all the way into it. I'll but, scratch um, your eyes out. <laughs> modern modern money mechanics. You know, just go ahead and look yeah. up modern money mechanics, and you know, check that out. I uh, uniform I have, commercial code. I'm part that. of a conspiracy theory that mm -hmm. I believe that um. The economic crisis is part of an orchestrated plan yeah. to crumble the American Empire, yeah. to start the you know new world order, and things like that. My mom thinks I'm crazy. She thinks I'm like schizophrenic. Eric <laughs> Bischoff, um, Hogan, uh, not Tony Schiavone, but 
But whoever was back during that old WCW regime, please, can you get me an NWO t-shirt, an original NWO t-shirt? Oh, yeah! That doesn't um, say New World Order in the words. I just want the, uh, you it know, the white box that just says NWO. No words, but go ahead. I don't want to be a part of that. Yeah, you know, I'm just all about love and light mm-hmm. and trying to keep my temper love in control. Is a Shout out to Who Me, who made me this shirt and sent it in the mail. Who Me, put it all the way in the who camera. Go ahead. Me? All the way in the camera. Go ahead. All the way in the camera. Yes. Rocktown's finest. Who Me, yes, Gotta you. Love that. Gotta be. love that. Then who? Gotta love it. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> swaggy. Come on. He sent it to me in the mail. Mm-hmm, I love mm-hmm. you, Who Me. No doubt. What, um,. What can we expect next after the uh, after the EP drops? You know, when we going on this uh, this promotional campaign. You know, what can they expect to see? Do they you know shows coming up? Videos coming up? You know, do we have more singles after this ambitious woman? What's all going on? So here's the thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the thing is, is I don't do anything unless I'm going to body the competition. Yes. If I can't body the competition, I'm not going to do it. If I can't body the competition. Just saying, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not gonna go out there and try to be a professional professional bowler. Mm. I suck at bowling. <laughs> Shout out to everybody that bowls, everybody that skis. Oh Can't ski, you know why? Because I was a poor kid. Mm. Poor kids don't ski. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't even have a sled. <laughs> What's a sled? Where do you ride a sled at? Because you can't ride it where I come from. There's no. What do you do with it? Well, I don't think. Um, I'm not even gonna touch on that. <laughs> you doing the most right now on Facebook, by the way. <laughs> Chad has the most inappropriate picture. Up no, right now. not me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, anyway, yes, bowling um, and skiing, and not being rich kids. You know, when I got in the studio mm-hmm. uh, with Marv, you know, one of the first things I told him is, I was like, "Listen, he's I don't a genius. He is a genius. Mm-hmm. He's a, he's absolutely a genius. And if you mm-hmm. didn't make it past his people filter." That's because you're a messed up person and you didn't even have the opportunity to start to understand the way this man's mind works. Mm -hmm. Um, Also, shout out to Liz. Uh, You know, strong. Every strong man needs a strong woman behind him. And Liz holds Marv down. So shout out to Liz, because honestly, you know, like Marv really wouldn't be the man he is today if it wasn't for Liz. So got to give my girl love. Come on. Anywho, um, you know, when I started working with Marv, that was one of the first things I said is. When I started doing modeling up here, I wasn't done until I made myself untouchable. And mm-hmm. I know it's, it may sound cocky, you can call it whatever you want to call it, but the reality is is there's no model up here that can mess with me. Like, you might be good at one genre. Talk that talk. You might be good at one genre. Like, you might be. I'm not, you might be a wonderful glamour model, mm-hmm. but can you do high fashion? Can you do grunge? Can you speak correctly at a promotional event? Can you speak can you walk correctly? Down the runway? Because oh. I know you can't walk down the runway like I do. And I'm just saying, I have love for all y'all models. I do. I'm friends with a lot of y'all, so you know it's all love. But the truth is, it got to the point where like no Shots one was fired. really touching the work I was doing. Shots fired. I'm just listen. I show love to everybody, mm-hmm. but everybody knows it. You know, so it got to a point where I was like, you know, I'm gonna kind of be done with this for now because here there's nowhere further for me to go and I didn't want to go to New York because in New York they want me to be like 20 pounds less than what I am Mm -hmm. and that's not cute Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know and if I went to LA I'd probably have to get my face filled with Botox and you know my boobs done and my butt done they had to give you some titties they had to give you some blonde hair and I'm not that's not I I just want to be who I am shout out to titties and blonde hair that's not where it's at though if it's not you (laughs) Anyway, mm-hmm. anyway. Um, so you know when I when I went at modeling, I went at modeling to body the competition. Mm-hmm. And when I was done with that, then I was done. And it's not that I won't shoot because I'm still going to shoot, right, but right. you know, like that's not my grind anymore because I feel like I had I had maxed out here, and no I doubt. didn't want to go to the bigger industries because. I don't want to look like I have an eating disorder. Like, I dig it. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, uh, so then I started to get into acting. I've got some local ads that are going what, right now. My national campaign starts in two weeks mm-hmm. in February. Um, so I'll be all over the country in those ads. <clears throat> that was really exciting for me. So now moving into music, you know, my goal is the same that it's been for everything else. I'm not going to do it unless I can beat everybody at doing it. So, so know, everybody know this. 
<laughs> when I'm in the studio, and I'm in the studio a lot, I'm working mm -hmm. real hard. When I'm writing, and I'm writing a lot every day, every day I'm writing. Um, I might may not be as good as you are right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give me a little bit of time, because if you're not on your game, I'm gonna pass you. Period. Come on. Um, and the thing is, is that I come with a total package. I, I'm not just a musician. I'm not just an artist. I have an education. I've got some street smarts. I've got a good network. I've made a good name for myself. Um, I really don't have any burnt bridges. Mm -hmm. You know, there's one business I don't work with out of Rochester. They know who they are. Everybody else knows who I'm talking about. I ain't going to say, your, gonna name, say your name. Because I ain't going to give you no publicity. Name, uh -huh. <laughs> you ain't getting no free publicity from me, ho. Let's go. Um, but you know, there's some there's some shady businesses out there. People that claim to be something they're not. Mm -hmm. um, that create a false image. Mm -hmm. And you know me, like I'm real. I'm 100% all the time. You know, like it, love it, hate it. Do whatever you want to do with it. But this is what it is. You don't like it, leave. You know, you don't like it. You don't have to mess with me. I'm no love lost. Right. I'm gonna right. stay fine tonight. Um, but this is what it is. And, you know, there's some businesses I don't mess with because I feel like they're shady businesses. But mm -hmm. I don't have any bad blood. I don't have any bad relationships. Right. Indeed. Um, there's nobody out there that's really gunning for me. Cause Come on. I just keep it real. Now, uh, outside of this music, outside of this entertainment, you know, modeling, acting, everything, what... Uh, what would you be doing if you know if it wasn't that you know would you be a teacher would you be making chair no you wouldn't be making chairs you wouldn't be doing shit with your hands no I don't do that yeah <laughs> look at <laughs> you no manual labor <laughs> what uh mm -mm. what would be going on if I had not pursued the arts first of all I don't even know how that would be possible <laughs> because it's just always been a part of me mm -hmm. you know growing up we didn't really have a whole lot and we just listen to music all the time, mm -hmm. all the time, every mm -hmm. day. And, you know, I love my mom because my mom can take a bad situation and Shout make it seem like the best situation. Like, mm -hmm. we really didn't have nothing. But, you know, my mom would, like, blare the radio. We would be singing in the hairbrushes, standing on the microphones. Like, it would be like a rock concert in our house every day. You know, all the shit you get a radio. whooping for in my house. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. And then when I was old enough to start singing, I started singing. And then when I was old enough to start acting, I started acting. And um, my first major in college was theater. But my dad said it wasn't a real career. Hmm. Me. <laughs> Shout out to dad. So I got my psychology degree. Yes. And now I just fuck with people's heads all day. <laughs> oh, man. Isn't that the truth? Good job, dad. Yes. <laughs> you mess up people's lives. Yes. Um, so I had originally actually worked in nonprofit work. Mm-hmm. I was a presenter. I was actually a drug and alcohol prevention mm. presenter. Taught college kids what to do in case their friends dun, dun, dun. binge drinking. <laughs> I was the coolest <laughs> presenter ever. Though. Yes. I presented so swaggy, and the college kids loved me. They were like, oh, ch 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 she's See? shit. You know, let her come back again. Ch 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 you know, so. Look at you. <laughs> I did that, and I honestly, I loved it. <laughs> no doubt. But there's no money in it, mm -hmm. you know. And Cuomo, shout out to you for cutting my job. Yes. Rude. <laughs> Rude. Isn't there something like a hundred million dollars or a hundred billion dollars worth of something it, going he on? He hacked the budget. Yeah. And that's all he's done. And I understand we got to do it. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't. I'm running for that. mayor in the next election. Shameless plug. But I said, if a governor can make my job disappear and mm -hmm. my money disappear like that overnight, this is not a field I need to be in because right. I need to be controlling my money. Mm -hmm. So then I started branching out. You know, I've got an independent business in beauty. I have an independent business in fitness. Um, I have an independent business as far as my entertainment career goes. You know, I've done enough now where I don't have to do those free photo shoots mm -hmm. that a lot of these models are out here doing. Um, I've built enough name for myself. You know, I've, I've been able to prove myself. Shout out my to the work. free photo shoots and the photographers. Yeah, I'll be real bug. You really be bugging. Can we talk about that for a second? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> if you haven't got paid to be a model, mm -hmm. you're not a model. Mm -hmm. Unless money has been put in your hand, that's what makes it business. Money is what makes it business. Otherwise, you know, you're just a hobbyist. And I always tell people, like, no one's going to take your craft seriously or take you seriously if you're not investing in yourself. When was yes. the last time you was at the gym? <sighs> 
What kind of food are you eating? Are you eating? I just got food? finished saying that, man. Motherfucking, if you're a real model, you got a gym membership. And speaking of what you invest in, um, I still got ten dollar promo packages. Just so you know, um, yeah, ten dollars. You gonna plug that in my interview though? Man, that's, <laughs> that's all I love. Caring means sharing. <laughs> he gave himself a shout out in my interview. So rude. I'm here for you. It's not about me. Um. So yeah. So right now, there's a little bit of a leak of the single. Um, Where can they check that out? Shoot soon. You can get on YouTube. Uh, Natalie Nostra, N A T A L E. There is no Nostra. I because I'm me. Come um, on. There is no I because I'm me. <laughs> I don't need you. Yes. Shows you a little bit of my split personalities. Mm -hmm. um, Ambitious Woman is the name of the single. It, the goal is to drop it um, for Valentine's Day. We should be dropping it here on my substation. My substation dot com, com, people. Dot com. Mm -hmm. um, so that should be coming out the video. Drop it like it's hot. Be about 60 days later. And like I said, you know, I'm not going to do it if, I, if I'm not doing it right. And I'm about my business and I'm about my money. So yes. know that I will be investing in that. And it's I'm not going to be business, one of I'm these videos that was shot in somebody's basement or in their garage. Mm -hmm. You know, like. I'm going to put some effort into that because, you know, your image is your branding and your branding is your product and your product is everything. Yes, 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 yes. You know, I am my own product. I don't walk out of my house looking a mess. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to see me in, in the club fall down drunk. I get pretty girl tipsy. Pretty girl tipsy. Pretty girl tipsy. Shout out to that pink Moscato. <laughs> Um, so, you know, you got to invest in yourself mm -hmm. and you have to mm -hmm. treat yourself like a product and, and like a brand. You have to take yourself seriously. Okay. Um, what didn't we touch on in this past uh, less than 40 minutes that you would like to um, <laughs> scream at the people about if you could shout and, out to me being a control freak yes. and telling you yo control freaks everywhere shout out to yep yeah, uh, listen I am a control <sighs> that's why I can't keep it man I've had enough of this day <laughs> of uh <laughs> man she let it out. I'm uh <laughs> do you want to talk about that I'm done oh with Oh my gosh, no, I have questions. To I have me. questions from some of my friends. Oh, I thought you were going to say you have questions for me. No, no questions for me. No, I know all about you. Oh, you think so? You a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good guy. What are you talking about? I got about? some questions yes. from my Facebook friends. Facebook? See, that's what I'm talking about. Interact. Thank yes, thank you for your support. I love that. The first question is a little interesting. I don't know if yes. I appreciated this one very okay. much. Um. I'm not going to say your name because, you know, I'm not like that. You not going to say out. your name, though. <laughs> but the first question I mm -hmm. got was, do you believe in one night stands? Mm. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the short answer is no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the long answer is, what do you think that you have in one night that is good enough to get me in a bedroom? You're not going to show me nothing in one night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because the value is like up here, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like up here. I enjoy being on a table. It's not even enough conversation <laughs> to be able to have, to, have to be had in one night. <laughs> <laughs> so the answer would be no. Um, I'm one of those stuck up chicks a little bit. Like, I don't, you're going to have to really impress me. Mm hmm um, not everybody can have this. I, why? Be, here's why, okay? So, like, not everybody can have a Bentley. Mm -hmm. Not everybody can have a Ferrari. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not everybody can have a Lamborghini. That's There's just the reason way it works. for that. Okay? If you want a Kia, that's fine. Everybody can get a, get a 98 everybody Regal. Get a Kia. <laughs> everybody can get a 96 Aurora. <laughs> you know, you want one of those Mercuries? Well, yeah, you know. Everybody can fine. get a 96 Cutlass. <laughs> Not everybody could have a Bentley. And the beautiful thing about me is, like, I know that, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shout out to all my 96 Cutlass owners. <laughs> Still pushing it. Pushing it till the wheels mm -hmm. fall off. Man, shout out to everybody who rims cost more than they whip. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. Um, what do you think is the worst thing that females do to either get attention or to just seem relevant in some type of way not not so much the worst thing but what what bothers you the most in in all that you see so in all seriousness i was thinking about this earlier today uh you know there's there's a war on women whether or not you realize it I a don't war know. on women there's a war on women not just from men but also between women mm -hmm. it's the 
craziest thing I've ever witnessed because you know like it wasn't that long ago that women had zero rights in this country what well, was not that long ago you know we couldn't do anything I was considered someone's property if that meant he wanted to beat my ass all day every day mm -hmm. well I just kind of dealt with it you know so like the fact that we have all these opportunities now <clears throat> has done two things and in my opinion and you know me I'm all about women um, I'm not gay, you know, no homo, <laughs> but I'm all about women showing other women love and support. Like, Shout out to all my gay women out there. It doesn't make you, and yeah, I do. I love y'all too. I'm not, it's nothing against being gay. I'm just not. That's all. You know, I love you anyway, though. <laughs> Don't bother me none. Yes. Um, but what I'm, I see is just like women are always just trying to cut another woman down. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. What that Facebook picture say, bitches be like reporting live from another bitch's business. <laughs> yes. Man. For real. Stop. Dude, it makes you look so insecure to Terrible. constantly be talking about the right. next chick. Oh. What does she have to do with your life? Right. Like, is right. she paying your bills? Why does that happen? Not... Why does that happen? I was talking Why to somebody. Are you talking I, about her? I was talking to somebody about. I was talking to a female about another female in a positive way and the first thing out this girl I don't even that like bitch. that bitch I swear to God the first thing I remember I don't even like that bitch I don't even really know her and I ain't got no problem with her what? but she just bitch why is that why what man, cause I, I tell you this for as much hating or whatever you want to call it that, that dudes do dudes don't be like I don't like that nigga I don't, and, and if they do, the maybe I'm, I'm just not around them. No, women but are the worst. I know dudes. I I know dudes don't do mm -hmm. that. Dudes might hate, and they be like, you know, they might be like, he, you know, do this and that, and he got, but they don't be like, man, I don't like that nigga. He didn't, man, the females, it's the first opportunity. The first opportunity. There ain't no bitch in my blood, so mm -hmm. I don't understand that. Mm -hmm. Me personally, if you don't <laughs> affect, if you not bleep me mm -hmm. or financing me or feeding me you are irrelevant to me yes. <laughs> you know like if you're not a friend Food, money, and family sex. or right mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> like you what are you have nothing to do with my life so indeed, i don't care indeed. now these women what they're doing is they are getting so focused on the next chick because who knows she's got flyer kicks her hair is better her body is better Someone gives her attention that they want. She has a T.I. guy. She's got a T.I. guy. Because you know those are right. in high demand. <laughs> T.I. guys are in high demand. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. He's having a hard time over here. Ladies, right. good at him. Raph, be single. Actually, just... Chad, money's are in low demand. That's because Raph is, or that's because Chad's mon Chad money is wifed up in hey. this world. hey. MySubstation.com. up. <laughs> Shout out to Mrs. Money. Yes. Um, anywho, so these chicks get so fixated on the next bitch, mm -hmm. which is why this is just so incredibly stupid to me. Mm -hmm. They get so fixated on the next chick, they can't stop thinking about it, right? So they're like, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. bitch is fat. Yes. Anything, <laughs> anything, <laughs> anything. Ooh, she was a hoe in high school. Like, yeah. Who cares? Who high school cares? was like 10 years ago for right. everybody at what the very least. What are you talking least. about? At the very least. And it's like they think when they say it that it makes them, you know, like pushes them up a notch. But mm -hmm. the reality is you look weak as hell. All like, the time, man. If All Now, don't get me wrong. There's a few chicks I have problems with. Y'all know who you are. I'm not going to shout you out individually. I've said that shit to your face. <laughs> That's how I roll. If I don't if I don't rock with you like that, I just don't rock with you like that. I'm not going to pretend to rock with you. Right, right. I'm not really going to talk about bad about you behind your back. Mm -hmm. Like I'm just going to tell you, like you know, I really just I don't rock with you like Indeed. that. Indeed. <laughs> you know, like you do what you do you. in your space, no, and I'll do I what don't. I do in my space. Mm -hmm. Shout out to MySpace. You know, shout out to MySpace. Shout out to everybody who just checked their MySpace today too. <laughs> um, but I'm not. You know, I'm not talking about the next chick because mm -hmm. that. A, it has nothing to do with me. I don't care what she's doing. <laughs> they shooting. <laughs> Shout out to me knocking the CDs over. I did that. Um, but also, B, it makes it makes you look weak as a female if the only thing that's ever in your mouth is the next chick. Mm -hmm. Like, get about your money. Get mm -hmm. about your ambition. Be about your kids, for mm -hmm. Christ's sake. Be about your kids if you can't Man. be about nothing else. I'm going to tell you like this. Before Ooh. you be about another female's business, be a hoe. <laughs> it look better. Before you be about another female yeah. business, 
be a hoe. I'm There's not ad- nothing worse than being about somebody else's yeah, business. Yeah, I'm not advocating being a hoe. But if you got to choose, do I want to be a nosy, hating ass bitch, or always in another, always in another <laughs> female business, or do I want to be a hoe? Be a hoe, cause you can kind of be quiet about being a hoe. But if you in another female business, you ain't gonna choose. You can, you can't be in another female business on the low. You know what I'm saying? So, man, whatever. <laughs> Uh, give them your uh, give them your links where they can check you uh, out at. You can find me on Facebook, Facebook YouTube, Twitter, website, whatever, anything. You can find me on Facebook. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. Facebook, YouTube, YouTube. Twitter, Instagram, all Natalie and uh, Natalie Nostra. That's no good. A L E. There's no I, cause I'm me. There is no I. Nostra N O S T R A. If you have any any of the Italian Sicilian Mediterranean history Nostra should stick out in your Come mind Woo, um, so you can find me on Instagram my Instagram be popping I have taken a few days off so. Instagram popping Instagram. I've been grinding so hard I was I don't got Instagram. I'm like I haven't got my hair done in like mm-hmm. six weeks because I've just been working so much I just haven't made it this long because all I want to do is just be in the studio Jesus wept all I want to do is just body just body, body get me body, <laughs> get me body. That was a hard So you beat. can check me out, see what I'm up to. I'm always up to something positive. I'm always up to something funny. Yes. I'm always having a good time. I yes. Love life and I'm living it. Yes. Life is the shit. Life is the shit. Shout out to everybody that's breathing. So I encourage y'all to get out there, and do what you love, and mm-hmm. stop talking about what you hate. Pacers blow out Wizards ninety three sixty six. Raph, I hope you fall down the stairs. Raph, shout out to the Ti guy. You got some uh. Shout out to guys. Some shout outs or anything else before we jump into um, this last half hour of like, this radio. Big, big, big shout out to anybody who has supported me. You know, I I noticed every each and every one of you, and I really genuinely appreciate it. Mm-hmm. I have my eye on you. Um, I've got my. I know eye y'all on you. names individually. I'm not gonna shout them out, but I know who you are. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know what? Also, shout out to uh, all of you that are hating on me. You know that are wishing for my demise. That's me. I'm in. I'm in that bracket. You so silly. <laughs> you know that are out trying to sabotage me. Like mm-hmm. shout out to you too because I love making people eat crow. It's like my favorite thing in the world to do, and I will do it in the most feminine, sweetest way. I never in had the crow. World. Oh, it I had hurts. lobster. I had goat. I had lamb. I had mm. whale. Shout That's out to crow. some of my exes because they've ate some of my crow, and it hurts. Yes. Um, so like shout out to you too because you motivate me every time that I hear like I'm this and I'm that and I'm not going to do this and I'm not going to do that all it does is just encourage me to do it faster do it stronger do mm-hmm. it harder get mm-hmm. more people involved in mm-hmm. it like put more money into it like mm-hmm. all you're doing is motivating me so shout out to you too I love yes. you from the bottom of my heart Um, one more thing about you that they don't know that you want them to know I am going to bring real back into music um, the front music, the bad bitches, the twerkaholics, you know, getting money, popping Molly, you know, I'm, I'm bringing something You're not back. a Nicki Minaj fan? <sighs> I was a Nicki fan before she went commercial. I was a Nicki fan before she got bought out. You got bought out. You know, you got bought out. When Everybody she was knew when you got bought no out. Booty. I'm just saying. Um, she was an amazing artist when she was being Shout out Nicki. to girls with no booty. She didn't. Mm-hmm. But you know what? She was still beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um... And she is a beautiful woman. I wish she would shot, stop with all this extra shit because it's ridiculous, you know. Um, but before she got bought out, I was a huge mm-hmm. Nikki fan. Before I was she a got Nikki. bought out. That's she so did. Funny. She got bought out. That's what happens. You know, mm-hmm. you get up there. It ha- You know, now she's the black lady Gaga. You know, I don't know what that is. It's very confusing. For shout me. out to Gaga. Man, listen, too. Um, shout out to Google because, man, Google ain't Google. been getting no love, you know. And I mean. Uh, Google ain't been getting no love? No, not Google. Google. Oh. You know, I mean, shit. We got older and everybody just riding with Gaga, but I know from the time I was little, it was always Gaga, Google, and then um, you know, Gaga right? wanna go ahead and get on that Gaga shit. But man, shout out to Google. Google need love too, so shout know. out to Google. Yes, and um, so I'm bring some new things back mm-hmm. um to the game. I think I'm also gonna bring back some things that we're really missing. Music is, be- I call it I'm front music. Sexy back. No, I'm gonna bring real yeah. back. Yeah. Doom, doom. Shout out you to know, Justin. Like everybody remembers Eve in her day, you know, like she was real and she was raw and she just brought the truth and you couldn't. Shout out to Eve for marrying that billionaire. Gotta love Eve. After you thought her career was gonna be over for that porno. Shout out to, <laughs> uh, shout out to Stevie J. 
Yeah, nigga. Shout out to Ray J for making the Kardashians famous. Man. Are they writing you a check? I hope they're writing you a check because they owe you some money. Sheesh. <laughs> Just saying. IJS, IJS. <laughs> Shout out to, um, I don't know. I just had it and then I lost it. Well, I'm looking at somebody, but I don't want to shout you out. Shout out to the TI guy. And then, um, I don't know. Did we miss anything? That's all. You know, I think that's it for today. I'm pretty sure we've talked oh, to man. each other. <laughs> See, well, we're going to we gonna jump back into this uh, Relentless Radio for the last half hour. We're probably going to give you a little bit of this t fur And then um, after that, we out of here. It's MySubStation.com. We got Natalie Nostra and um, it's Chad Money. Mr. Uh, it's Not About Me.